hello friends welcome back in this video I am going to explain how to calculate bolt tightening torque as you can see here by applying tightening torque we are basically stretching the bolt which in turn creates a tensile stress in the bolt the tensile load developed in the bolt due to tightening torque is known as preload the tensile load in the bolt creates a compressive force in the bolted joint which is often known as clamping force when we apply tightening torque to a bolt it seems that all applied torque converts into preload but unfortunately only 10 percent of the applied torque converts into useful preload and about 50 percent of the applied torque is used to counter frictional resistance between nut and the washer or we can say nut and the joint and the remaining 40% of the applied torque is used to counter frictional resistance between threads of nut and bolt. Okay, so we can use this relation to calculate tightening torque. Here, symbol F is required preload in newtons and D is the nominal diameter in mm and K is the nut factor and it is a unitless number. The value of nut factor depends on fastener materials, type of coatings and lubricant. You can use this table to select appropriate nut factor. As you can see here, for mild steel or alloy steel bolts, mean value of nut factor is 0.2. Now we will calculate preload, which is basically tensile load in the bolt. If we load the bolt up to its yield strength, then bolt will have permanent deformation and it cannot be used again. So in case of fasteners, we define a term proof strength or proof load. Proof strength can be defined as the maximum tensile stress that can be applied to a bolt, which will not result in plastic deformation. In other words, the material must remain in its elastic region when loaded up to its proof strength. Proof strength is typically between 85 to 95 percent of its yield strength. In case of non-permanent bolted joint where we want to reuse bolts, in such applications bolts should be loaded up to 75 percent of its proof strength. This is to avoid permanent deformation in bolts. So for non-permanent bolted joints, preload can be calculated as 0.75 times the proof strength multiplied by bolt stress area. And if the bolted joint is permanent, then we can load the bolt up to 90% of the proof strength. Therefore, in case of permanent bolted joint, preload can be calculated as 0 0.90 times proof strength multiplied by the bolt stress area. The bolt stress area can be calculated using this relation. Here, P is the bolt pitch in mm and D is the bolt nominal diameter in mm. Now, if we use this bolt stress area, we can rewrite proof load formula for non-permanent joint as and for permanent joint, it can be written as here, symbol sigma is the proof strength in megapascal and we can refer ISO 898 part 1 to calculate proof strength. Let's take an example of M16 class 4.8 bolt. As you can see here, for M16 class 4.8 bolt, proof strength value is 310 megapascal. Here symbol P is the thread pitch. As you can see here, for M16 bolt, thread pitch is 2 mm. And D is the bolt nominal diameter and it is 16 mm for M16 bolt. After putting all these values, we can calculate bolt preload. Now, we have found all these variables required to calculate bolt tightening torque. Just plug all these variables in this formula and we will have the bolt tightening torque. If you like this video, give us thumbs up and subscribe my channel. Thank you.